How to do everybody? Welcome to Variety Conversation. I am Lady Walker. So, when you give birth to a child, you think that you are giving birth to someone who is going to contribute to making the world a better place. No one ever thinks they are giving birth to the devil himself or an agent of the devil, better known as an offspring of the devil, just plumb plain out the money. If you did, I don't think that pregnancy would be carried out to full term. And by the way, I am not advocating abortion because I am not about that period, unless under certain life-threatening circumstances. Yep to the yep, yep, yep. Anyway, how about this messed up pair of lunatics? A Virginia woman, 31-year-old Amanda McClure, and her 55-year-old biological father, Larry McClure Sr., took it upon themselves to take a life. Yes, to take a life. Whose life? Amanda's boyfriend's life. 38-year-old John McGuire from Minnesota. The killing took place in February of 2019 and McGuire's dismembered body was found in a shallow grave in September of 2019. It is reported that Amanda and her father, whom she had sex with, utterly disgusting, married four weeks later after killing McGuire. McGuire was hit over the head with a wine bottle tied up, injected with three vials of liquid methamphetamines and strangled with a garbage bag. What a diabolical crime of a doozy. Let me back up this train to give you a bit of information before the killing took place. Amanda was raised by adopted parents and was like so estranged from her biological daddy, Larry, who is from Kentucky and had been living in West Virginia since a previous release from prison that was attributed to sex offense charges. Basically, he was a sex offender. Howbeit, I don't know the specific when Larry entered back into Amanda's life as her biological father, and plus, I have no information on her biological mother. Anyway, McGuire told Larry that he loved Amanda and that he wanted to marry her. And according to Amanda, during a preliminary trial back in November of 2019, Larry didn't want McGuire near her. So, Larry the father, paired with his other daughter, Anna Marie, drove to pick up both Amanda and McGuire in Indiana. The group then made their way to Sky Gusty, Virginia, where they lived together for a week and a half. On Valentine's Day of 2019, Larry reportedly hit McGuire in the head with a wine bottle. The victim was then tied up, had liquid methamphetamine injected into him, and was strangled with a garbage bag. In previous testimony, Larry admitted McGuire was tortured tortured for two days prior to his death. McGuire was buried, but less than a week later, y'all, he was exhumed for the purpose of being dismembered. He was then buried again. Mm, mm, mm. They must have been hallucinating from the methamphetamine they were on, thinking they were seeing the ghost of McGuire for them to go back and exhume his body for the purpose of dismembering his body as if he was a vampire. Look at what the Met Cray Cray can do to you. Okay, on November the 4th, 2019, McClure wrote a letter to police confessing to the crime and detailing the grisly murder. McClure painted his daughter Amanda as the ringleader of the plot. He said he does not know her motive for killing, but alleged she was spending McGuire's monthly social security checks. This is my side note. I don't know how he was getting social security checks at 38 years of age. Maybe old trifling evil Larry meant SSI. Then he says, that means Larry says, I cannot tell you why Amanda wanted John McGuire dead. I am asking for this to be over and not wasting the taxpayers' money and hurting the family members on both sides of this, John McGuire's family and my family. Really, Larry, really, 
You didn't give a flying hoop about McGuire's family or yours when you were scheming and plotting McGuire's demise with your daughters. And now you seem to care. Really? Then he goes on to say, all I can do is hope for mercy on this. But my sentence on this really does not matter because I am old and in bad health. I would never live to see the parole board in 15 years anyway. And that is okay. Mm. 55 isn't old, but the way he lived has a lot to do with his health. Being addicted to meth and probably other illicit drugs, engaging in incestuous relationship with his daughter, and probably a myriad of other evil deeds can certainly be detrimental to your life. You big dummy, Larry. Then he says, I will say I am sorry for my part in this crime to both my family and John McGuire's family. He closed out his letter saying he pleads guilty, no contest adding. I just want it over. No trial, no taxpayer money spent for a trial. Okie dokie, Judge Ed Cornish called the killing a heinous crime that lasted for two days and said Amanda was attempting to place all the blame for McGuire's death on her father. I don't think you are taking full responsibility for killing John. You are blaming it on your father. When you all dug up his body, it was dismembered and stakes of some kind were driven through his body. Then you reburied him. There was no reason for this. Oh my word. Like I said, the myth more likely was getting the best of them. Maybe they thought John was a vampire, okay, to have a stake of some kind driven through his body. On October the 1st, 2020, Amanda was sentenced to 40 years behind bars for second degree murder. Her father, Larry, was sentenced on August the 14th, 2020 to life behind bars. Her sister, Anna Marie, who was also charged in connection with the murder of last year, is still awaiting trial. Judge Cornish bemoaned the fact that Amanda will likely only serve 20 years of her sentence. He said, I hope and pray you will learn and change. And when you do get out, we'll be a different person. The time you will serve is not adequate amount of the time for the pain you have caused. What a twisted, nefarious crime at the hands of three evil trifling heifers. Marrying your daddy is nasty and trifling. Killing McGuire, the guy who loved you and wanted to marry you, is just evil. Evil. Let's all get out. Anyway, feel free to express your perspective on the heinous situation. And in the meantime, beloved, y'all come back to visit me when you can. Okie doke. Ta-ta.